about every single word in the phrase, you would be confused about the meaning of the sentence. But native speakers don't do that. They don't care about the meaning of the individual words. They just know that those words together have a meaning. Understanding slang and idiom expressions are some of the most difficult parts of learning real English, but we can help you. At English Explosion, we are experts in teaching our students the slang, idioms, and phrases they need to know to become fluent English speakers. To start speaking English, you need to stop studying vocabulary lists. You might have a huge vocabulary and know thousands of words, but you might not be able to say one correct sentence. But if you know one common phrase, you can make hundreds of correct sentences. If you know 100 phrases, you would be surprised at how many correct sentences you would be able to say. Finally, when you know 1,000 phrases, you will be able to speak like a fluent English speaker. You will know the code that native speakers use. Native English speakers love using slang and idioms in their phrases, and it's hard to get through even one sentence without hearing slang or idioms being used. It is so important to know slang and idioms, because when you know these phrases and expressions, you will understand native English speakers better, and you will sound more natural when you speak. Most English learners study material that is too old and too formal. And they sound strange when they speak, because it is not the English that native speakers use in real life. We don't want you to sound strange when you speak. We want you to sound natural and cool when you are speaking. And that is why we want you to stop wasting time studying vocabulary and start using that time to study phrases, slang, and idioms. That is why we created our lessons and system to teach our students phrases that are full of idioms and slang. Our students quickly learn what phrases to use in certain situations. And they sound like native speakers when they are speaking. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. We have enjoyed making this video for you as always. Tomorrow, we will teach you our next powerful secret that will help you learn to speak English fluently and confidently. Thanks again, and we will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike. And I'm Shani from English Explosion. It's nice to see you again. Today, we are going to learn about secret number five, which is study the correct material. One of the biggest mistakes we see many students make when they are studying English is that they are not using the correct material or method to speak English. Many language schools and teachers make their students study old, boring material that is not useful in real life situations. The students use old words that no one uses in real life anymore. They learn about situations that they will never be in in real life. For example, we have seen students in language schools study stories and material about pirates and robots and fairy tales. These are topics that are not important and you will never experience them in your real life. These stories do not have the real English that you need in real life. You don't need to know how a pirate talks or characters from fairy tales talk. You need to know how students in university talk or people at work talk. You need to know what things people say when they're dating in English-speaking countries. For example, we have a friend who studied this kind of wrong material for years in language schools. He thought his English was very good, but when he came to visit us in the United States and we were in a restaurant eating, he had no idea what to say to the waitress, and he didn't understand anything that the waitress was saying to him. When the waitress asked him what he wanted to eat, he couldn't even order a hamburger. He had no practice or experience using the real English he needed in real life situations like this. He quickly realized the English material he had been studying was not useful at all in real life. He asked us how he could learn to speak like native English speakers. We told him, like we tell everyone who wants to learn to speak English, you need to study point of view stories. And you need to study the real conversations that would happen in these real situations. You might be wondering, what is a point of view story? Well, a point of view story is a short story where we learn about what is happening in the story from different points of view. For example, we learn about when the story is happening and who is telling the story. 
This is very important because we use these stories to learn grammar without even knowing we're learning grammar, without even thinking about grammar. We hear these stories being told in the present tense, then we hear parts of the story in the future or past tense. As you listen to these stories, many times you start to understand how native speakers switch back and forth between present tense and past tense and future tense. And you will quickly learn to speak in different tenses without ever thinking about grammar or verb tenses or translating the sentences in your head. When you are able to switch between tenses naturally and stop thinking about grammar, you are halfway there to speaking fluently like a native English speaker. Now, to sound natural and normal like a native speaker and not like a robot or a dictionary, you need to know the right words and phrases, slang and idioms that native speakers use in real conversations that would happen in real life situations. Our English Explosion lessons are created specifically to teach our students to speak fluently without thinking about grammar and our English Explosion lessons will teach you how to use real English that you need for real life situations. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. We have enjoyed making this video for you as always. Tomorrow we will teach you our next powerful secret that will help you learn to speak English fluently and confidently. Thanks again and we will see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi everyone, I'm Mike. And I'm Shawnee from English Explosion. It's nice to see you again. Today's secret is our most fun secret. Today's secret is secret number six, which is have fun learning English. It sounds like a simple idea, but many people don't do this. Many people make learning English a job, and it becomes stressful and boring. But to make learning English more fun and easier, you have to relax your approach to learning English. Do not worry about what you cannot remember, understand, or say. It does not matter. You are learning and improving, so just sit back and enjoy learning. To make learning fun, you have to start learning from fun material that is interesting so you don't get bored and feel tired. Don't count the hours you are studying. Learn from material that you love so you don't even notice the time passing while you're using this material. It won't even feel like you're studying. When you are learning English, you have to stop thinking about every single word you don't know. If you have fun material, you will learn many new things without using any effort at all. The important thing is to enjoy yourself while you are learning because if you are not having fun, you are more likely to give up. If you make learning English feel like a job, you are going to feel bored while you are learning and you are going to be thinking about all the other fun things you could be doing instead of studying. Eventually, you're going to avoid studying English altogether, and sooner or later, you will just quit studying English. It is true that after a couple of hours studying, most of us start to feel bored and tired. Our attention span gets shorter when we start to daydream. I want to share these following tips with you to help you get the most at studying English. First, you need material that is fun and interesting to keep your attention. Boring material will put you to sleep fast. That's why we create fun lessons in our English Explosion system. Next, your study area has to be comfortable. You have to get comfortable and be comfortable while you are studying. Our English Explosion system will allow you to learn English anywhere. You can put our lessons on your iPod or MP3 player and learn English while you're at the gym or walking or on the bus or laying in bed at night. Another good idea is to learn with a friend because this can stop you from becoming bored since you are talking to your friend about the material. Our English Explosion lessons are great because when you use our lessons you will be practicing with us and talking to us, your new friends. We want you to remember to have fun while you're learning. If you're too serious, you will slow down the learning process. Our English Explosion lessons are always fun and they will help you learn so much Without ever thinking about it, the English is going to come out naturally. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. We've enjoyed making this video for you, as always. Tomorrow, we will teach you our next powerful secret that will help you learn to speak English fluently and confidently. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye! Bye! Hi everyone, 
I'm Mike. And I'm Shawnee from English Explosion. It's nice to see you again. Today, we are going to teach you secret number seven. Today's secret is our last secret in this video course, but it is so important. It is necessary for you to know this if you want to speak English in real life situations with native speakers. Today's secret is learn English at native speaker speed. Too many people are learning English at non-native speaker speed. And when they hear native English speakers talking, they can't understand them. And they say they are speaking too fast. This is a big problem. If you want to be able to understand native speakers for your work, travel, school, or just for entertainment, such as movies and music. Of course, when you start learning English, you need to hear English spoken slowly so that you can recognize the words and hear the pronunciation clearly. But this is only the first step. Eventually, you need to be able to recognize the words and pronunciation at real native speaker speed. At English Explosion, we call this training your ear. And this is one of the methods we use in our English Explosion system. And we talked about it in an earlier video. We have seen too many students studying material in which the English is spoken very slowly or they study with a teacher that speaks at baby speed. But when these students hear English at real life native speed, they cannot understand anything and they feel frustrated because they have been studying English for a long time and they can only understand English when it is spoken slowly. Only understanding English when it is spoken slowly will not help you in real life. It won't help you understand the people you meet when you're traveling to English speaking countries. It won't help you in school when your teachers and classmates are having real normal conversations. And it won't help you at work when the native English speakers are trying to talk business with you in an important or stressful meeting. You need to be able to recognize words, phrases, and pronunciation at real native speaker speed so you can communicate effectively and be involved in the conversation instead of feeling lost and confused. To do this, you have to train your ear. This is what the English Explosion system will teach you. We will teach you to be able to clearly hear and understand English when it is spoken fast and naturally. We do this by building up your listening skills from beginner level to native level, all the while perfecting your ability to recognize changes in pronunciation. Imagine speaking with native speakers who are speaking quickly and being able to understand everything clearly. Imagine participating in a conversation with your teachers and classmates and understanding everything that's being said. Imagine talking to a business client or partner who is in a hurry and you are able to quickly have the conversation with them and not have to say to them, please slow down or I'm sorry, I don't understand. You will become more important and respected at work if you are able to speak English to the clients. Our English Explosion system will help make that possible. If you use our English Explosion method, you will never have to say, I don't understand. What do you say? Can you speak more slowly? You will never have to say those things again when you're speaking English if you use our English Explosion system. You will understand native speakers when they speak quickly and naturally so that you can have real life conversations. Okay, that's it. You finished our seven secret video course. Yay, you did it! Congratulations. Now, listen. If you've enjoyed these lessons and secrets, you can use them and apply them to your own learning methods, and they will help you, and they'll help improve your speaking abilities. So, you can use these secrets with whatever way you're studying, find the kind of material we've talked about, and apply it. But, if you're serious about speaking English fluently and confidently today, and you're ready to get started, then we recommend you go and get our English Explosion lessons. They've been built.